Okay guys, on our way out to the camp. Well, I'm on my way out to the camp. Jen and Colton are already there. Uh, had an in interesting uh, few weeks. Haven't been out to the camp, but we'll explain it as we go, I guess. We had, uh, there's a problem out at the, uh, the dam near our camp. They had a leak in the wall and I was, uh, I took on call for the uh, fire department for one weekend, so we've been quite uh, been quite busy. So hopefully we'll be able to enjoy this whole weekend out at the camp without interruption. And uh, hopefully everything's all set up by the time I get there. Yeah, so anyways, there was that hole in the dam. Uh, it was uh, it was massive. I'll have to see if I could uh, try to link that video in with this one, and it'll just give you an idea. So the river is uh, low right now. The river is really low right now. So we're hoping that we're going to be able to go on the uh, in the 14 foot boat see what we could find like if we explore because a lot of people over the years have dropped stuff and uh, they couldn't uh, couldn't locate it so it'd be pretty cool with the river being this low maybe to see some different stuff well we're out at the camp now made it out Jen got everything, Jen got everything ready <laughs> everything's good to go checked out the garden I'll show you guys after it's cool. looking pretty yeah. sweet Cool cut the grass. <laughs> so we're off to a good start. Well, we're out at the camp and we're doing some more shady stuff. Come out here right away and Mike's got us in the ding dangly do. We're gonna go bring a, a dock down to the launch. Well, we got the base of the dock in. Actually, didn't didn't go that bad. Mike's gonna go get the 14 and haul her around. Well, look at the garden. Told you I'd show you. Look at the lettuce, eh? Huge. All the peppers. Sorry, peppers, cucumbers, the onions, tomato plants are huge. Hopefully, and we got, they're flowering. So that's awesome. Got yeah, very impressed. We're down at the, uh, where they had that where they had the dam breach and I just want to see if we can get a good uh, a good glimpse. I'll show you guys if we can get down a little closer. The whole road there is washed right out to their garage. It was a big cement pad, huge. Well, that's, that's pretty incredible, actually. That uh, apparently there's going to be some different types of fixes they're going to do. I heard one version. Not sure how much of this is true, but they're going to drive big, uh, big steel piles on the opposite side of the dam. And then they're going to pump out that void of the water. And they're going to pour concrete and uh put a whole bunch of rebar in there like that dam there is uh at least 100 years old i think it was like 1914 or something i'd have to check the exact date but i think it's like at least 100 years old so i'll try to get the date but uh yeah so 
I guess it was leaking for a bit and then they went to try to uh, try to fix it or slow it down and uh, the guy was up on the scaffolding and I guess it was a it let loose and it was huge I'll see if I can find the original video for you guys and like I said earlier I'll try to put it on with this one Well, that was a nice ride. We had fun. We went, uh, went actually probably for over an hour. So everybody's, it's, uh, I don't know, 1030, 11 o'clock. So I think we're going to call her quits for the night and see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Good morning. We're going to go look and see if, while the water is low, if we can see uh, anything interesting. We'll take you along. If we find anything interesting, we'll show you. So normally these old uh, rollers for the old boats are normally right underwater. So that's pretty cool. See, the water's usually up to at least... Right here. No, higher, bud. You can see where the... Right there. Well, see, you can change uh, see the change in water color there. Yale locks. Yale. Yale. That's not that old, bud. Oh. All sorts of stuff. Oh. Old oh. chains and old slings and all from the old log hauling days and they just left everything. There's another old chunk of chain. Exactly. <laughs> well, we're going to walk down to another little spot. See what we can see. Oh, it's hot out. Yeah, it's pretty humid. It's not actually hot, but it's just sweaty hot. Yeah, it's like humid, right? Yeah. We're in another little bay. We're trying to see because the water is super low, so I really thought we would have seen more than we've seen so far. People dropping stuff off their boats or... You always hear heard the old stories, you know, people flip the flip the boat and dropped everything in the river. We'll see. Yeah, we're not sure what these tracks are though, really. They look like little like chipmunk or like raccoon. That's a raccoon. There's uh that's a big old boom BC log. fur boom log. Look how big that is. That's huge. Those uh, what used to uh, cover the bays, like for uh, so the logs wouldn't go yeah. down in certain bays. Broke. Got to see a lot of cool things. I'm going to uh, try to put in, uh, I got a piece of plexiglass, or not plexiglass, but Lexan. We're going to try to make something for uh, the back window of the side-by-side, -side, see if we could reduce some of that dust that's being sucked into the cab. Well, we got the piece of uh, plexiglass in, so that's good. Minus the ugly tire wraps, but I'll change those to black after. And it's free. Well, today we're gonna have a few grizzies, something real quick and fast to eat. 
we're gonna go on a side-by-side -side right after. Well, the old grandpa machine made it up. He says that he's got a short wheelbase. I'm not sure. That's yet to be determined if that's why. I think Uncle Basketball's just got to send it. He half sent it. It's actually pretty steep though. And I didn't make it up in four wheel drive the first time. I had to put in two wheel drive to make it up. Which is weird. First thing in the morning and we're helping Mike, my father-in-law with some of the dogs, I'll show you. We gotta get those bones out. These 
plates, these dark plates. And Corbin's giving me a hand. Hammer it. It's not even in yet, no bud. Watch your face. Well, that was a busy morning. We got uh, the docks fixed up. A little bit of uh, fooling around there, but look at that, eh? Cucumbers, look at the lettuce. Might have to take some of that home. Got an abundance of lettuce. Like last year, we ended up chucking some out, but hopefully not this year. Well, I think I'll water the garden now. I'm making a, I'm making a series of uh, pictures and uh, I'm missing like a red flower and uh, maybe like an orange flower. So I'm just gonna go down. Some of these wildflowers are really nice and Jen wants some pictures for in the house. So I'm gonna see what I could find because uh, my mother-in-law said there was some down here. So I'm gonna take a little walk see what I could find we're gonna go for a ride uh, with my father-in-law on the boat see if we could see some cool stuff when the water's low and I'm trying to look for some red flowers to finish off this picture I got an orange one now white purple yellow I got white ones but we just need a, a red flower so maybe a wild flower on the side of the river be nice That was an awesome uh, awesome little trip got to explore a few things check out some stuff and uh, we didn't see any red flowers but I'll have to keep looking elsewhere I'll find them anyways I hope you guys uh, enjoyed our video and uh, hopefully have some cool videos coming up in the next few weeks and uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later